Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Mom and Dr. Jones, a board certified OBGYN, a mom to four, and it's everybody's favorite time of the month. Much better than that other time of the month where we review an episode of TLC's famously entertaining, I didn't know I was pregnant, and ruin it with educational commentary. I didn't think that these episodes would still be entertaining this long into reviewing them. This episode is wonderful and amazing for so many reasons, but it takes the cake for favorite baby name. I love this kid's name and the reason that they chose it. It's the best. Let's learn something. I hear that song in my sleep now. With her boyfriend Bernard, she has two girls. She's also very close to her parents and spends a lot of time with them. I'm thankful for my family. I know I have them by my back and standing by me 100%. We enjoy each other and just have a great time. She is an A1 mom. Tasha puts her kids first. During her pregnancies, Natasha put on a lot of weight and suffered from terrible nausea. I was sick as a dog, actually, for like the first six months with the both of them. The morning sickness, the evening sickness, the smells of perfumes or smells of certain food, just blah. This is the most common misconception that I see, morning sickness. For a lot of people, this is an all day, all the time thing. Some people have just terrible nausea, other people throw up, some people just feel generally bad, and for some people it's way worse than others. Even to the point in some cases of having something called hyperemesis gravidarum, which is where you have such bad nausea and vomiting throughout the pregnancy that you actually end up losing weight and are at an increased risk of mountain nutrition and other kinds of pregnancy complications. Most people don't have it that severe, but it certainly can get really bad. High levels of hormones in your body are what are thought to cause the nausea and vomiting. They decide to delay having more kids. I was on birth control and I took it every day, like I was supposed to. I had my menstrual every month. 50% of pregnancies will have bleeding at some point. A smaller percentage, but not negligible percentage, will have bleeding throughout the whole pregnancy. Sometimes that can be very difficult, if not impossible, to differentiate from your actual period, especially if you're on a birth control pill and you're taking it as it's prescribed. The failure rate of a birth control pill, which is taken perfectly, is less than 1%. If you miss a pill here and there, then that goes up a little bit, but it's still really reliable. So. I can't explain it. I don't know. I understand why she didn't know. She had no reason to think she was pregnant. That's why we watch these videos, because it seems unbelievable. Then you hear the story. And if you're real honest with yourself and you put yourself in that position, I don't know. I can't even throw in my normal, just take a pregnancy test here. I don't know what I would have told her to take a pregnancy test if she genuinely was on her pills every day, hadn't noticed a change in her bleeding, wasn't more, wasn't less, wasn't more common or less common. I don't know. But if your period changes, even though I know that's not what she says, if it's heavier, lighter, further apart, closer together, anything, period changes and you're having sex with someone who can get you pregnant, even if you're on birth control, take a pregnancy test. Tasha starts exercising regularly, hoping to trim down her 180 pound frame. I was really active. I had lost like 20 pounds. That weight just pff, gone. Though Natasha is in the best shape she's been in years, she can't lose her belly weight. I said, well, Tasha, you lose everything else, but still you got a little pudgy stomach there. It didn't click anything in my mind. I would be so upset if my mom said that to me. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like a, an actual compliment. I don't know. In the spring, she suddenly begins to get heartburn and starts taking antacids. I did experience a little bit of heartburn. I wasn't eating completely healthy like I was supposed to, so I just kind of threw that off on some food that I ate and just went on about my business. Heartburn and pregnancy, definitely more common, but of course you can get gastroesophageal reflux at any point. The reason it's more common in pregnancy is because your hormone levels cause relaxation of the smooth muscle and also of the sphincter in the esophagus down here. If you imagine the sphincter in the lower esophagus like this, and when it's really nice and tight, it's hard for acid to get from the stomach up into the esophagus. But if it's more relaxed because of those hormones, then it's easier for gastric fluid to get from the stomach into the esophagus, which is what causes that burning feeling and kind of the yuck, I might throw up kind of feeling. Also why it's worse when you lay flat or if you have just eaten because that pushes the acid up further in the stomach. I had a little sharp pain in my stomach. Five or 10 minutes later, he's telling me he had to run to town. I gotta step out real quick. So I get up, you know, go check in the oven, check on the kids. I just felt like a little tingle in my stomach. Just, you know, I'm like, okay, no, gotta go to the bathroom. She's really pretty and the actress playing her is really pretty. And I think this is the first time that they actually 
cast somebody who looks even remotely similar to the person they're playing. Like if you remember the episode about her having to stop for gas on the way to the hospital and the mom is making the, her drive herself while she's unknowingly in labor, they did her dirty. That actor is so much older than the actual person who's giving the interview. It never ceases to amaze me, but this one's actually decent. I'd sit there maybe two or three minutes and then I had felt another little tingle in my stomach, you know. I'm like, okay, what's going on? I didn't know if I'm catching a virus catching a virus or sick or like something else is wrong with me. I don't know where it said that they were from, but she is sounding pretty Southern to me. Virus. Virus. She says it like I do. Natasha stays in the bathroom, hoping the pain will pass. But instead of getting better, it gets worse. My stomach is like bulging and bulging. I'm sitting and I'm getting pains and these are pains that I haven't felt in like three years in like three years since the last time I was in labor since my last daughter was born I'm like okay these feel like contraction pains that must be terrifying you're on the pill you're supposedly bleeding and then all of a sudden oh my gosh these these are contractions that would be terrifying and then I'm like oh my god I'm pregnant. I was shocked. She's like the first one, I think, in all of these episodes that I've watched that realized it in the process of the labor and not after the baby was out. I don't know if that's better or worse. That would be terrifying. I'm just doing my breathing and trying to keep myself calm because I did not want to alarm my kids. Oh, I forgot her partner went to the store. Oh my gosh, she's got a three-year-old and... I don't remember how old her other daughter is in the house. <gasps> there was no other grown-ups in the house. I was by myself. <laughs> Just 10 minutes after Natasha's initial pain, her contractions are already only seconds apart. 10 minutes is a very efficient labor from first contraction pain to delivery. And people who've had vaginal deliveries before certainly have more efficient and quick labors, but that is something we would call a precipitous delivery, meaning the onset of contractions to the time of delivery is very quick. Contractions are hitting hard. Oh. Everything's happening so quick, so quick. <laughs> I felt that urge to push. So I, I gave it a couple pushes. The next thing I know, it was like a plop in the toilet. Oh no, it went in the toilet. This is making me so anxious. I'm getting like, like physically clenching up watching her describe it. <gasps> that imagery was horrible. TLC, what? Oh my gosh. I wonder if that's too graphic for the thumbnail because I've never seen them put anything like that in these videos. Just like steal and shot. I'm just like, what just happened? Where did this baby come from? Where did this baby come from? I wonder if it crawled up through the toilet in the sewage. I don't know where I am. Just kidding. I know she doesn't think that. To go to the She's alone at home with her daughters, praying desperately for her boyfriend to return so she can get Mom, medical help. Go to the other bathroom. She's just holding her out of the bathroom like, surely if the baby's crying, which they're depicting it as crying, the little girl would be like, Mom, do you have a, a baby in there? Are you playing with my dolls? I'm just really scared and not knowing what to do or nothing. Two or three minutes later, here comes Bernard. Hey, Tasha, I'm back. <laughs> So I opened up the door and I said, Bernard, you have to come here quick. I said, I just had a baby. What? Shh. I don't want the kids to hear. She's still trying to not let the kids hear. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh my god. And he's like in shock, like stopped in his tracks. I don't know. What is? Oh. I told him I didn't know I was pregnant. I don't know how this happened. Stunned and panicked, Bernard calls for help. I'm gonna call them. Good plan. This is maybe the only episode that they've had good acting in. Like his stunned face. Oh my god. On point. Exactly how I felt thinking about if I was him. I don't think I've ever complimented the acting in these videos before. 
This is a historic moment, y'all. And now they have the actual 911 call. This episode just hits all the bingo slots of best didn't know I was pregnant episodes. Yes, ma'am. My girlfriend just had a baby. Uh huh. And she had the baby on her own. How long ago did she have the baby? I just came in the house and she's in the bathroom just now. How far along was she when she delivered? I have no idea. I didn't even know she was pregnant. She told me she didn't need it. <laughs> okay, we'll send an ambulance out. I loved that call. I have no idea. She didn't even know she was pregnant. I didn't either. He's so calm. He's like perplexed, but calm and helpful. Exactly as you should be if your partner unexpectedly delivers a baby into the toilet at your house. By the time the paramedics arrive five minutes later, Natasha's fear and panic about her newborn baby has escalated. When I first saw her, she was sitting on the commode in the bathroom. And Commode. Told you they were Southern. I need to go back and see where it says they're from. That's what my grandma used to call a toilet. Commode. How far along were you? I didn't know. She just said, I didn't know I was pregnant. All right. Now what we need to do is get the baby warm. And of course, I'm scared because I haven't had a doctor's appointment, not one. <laughs> is he going to be okay? I wasn't taking the prenatal vitamins I was supposed to. I'm just feeling really stupid and just praying to God that he is healthy. <laughs> Once we determined that there was no prenatal care, it, it's urgent for me to assess the child. As we say in every episode, I know you know what's coming. We do the best we can with the information that we have. You wouldn't have chosen not to get prenatal care. You wouldn't have chosen to not take your vitamins. You wouldn't have chosen those things, but you didn't have all the information that you have now. So be kind to yourself and moving forward, do the best you can now with the information that you have and be kind to your former self who didn't have that information. The lungs may not be fully developed and the rest of the organs may not be fully developed. The paramedics are not equipped to deal with these kind of complications, so getting the baby to the hospital is critical. <laughs> Bernard leaves the girls with a neighbor. How do you think that chat with the neighbor went? Hi, I need to leave the girls here for just a minute, please. I'm going to the hospital because Natasha had a baby. They don't know yet, she had a baby. Oh, congratulations. I didn't even know Natasha was pregnant. Did we? Shh, keep it down. They don't even know. She had a baby in the house and the kids don't know? Shh, I'll call you in a little bit. Just make them rest their teeth and go to bed. <laughs> they did the right thing here and wrapping baby up in that reflective blanket that to help to keep in warmth and then putting baby with mom skin to skin ideally with the blanket over them they have the baby wrapped up that's okay too whatever you do you need to keep baby either skin to skin with covered with a blanket or wrapped up nicely to stay warm bernard calls my mom hello bernard he says tasha just had a baby i said tasha had what <laughs> she had a baby i said don't don't play with me like that <laughs> so he gives me the phone and I said, Mama, yes. I said, I just had a baby. I said, you're gonna have to meet us at the hospital. I love them. I want to be their friends. They seem like such nice people. Next thing I know, I heard total silence. <gasps> I got weak in my legs. Oh. It hit me like, Tasha, baby. Where'd the baby come from? You know, because she did not look like she was pregnant. 10 minutes later, Natasha arrives at the hospital and her parents are already there waiting for her. They beat her to the hospital. Oh my gosh, you had a baby. They were crying. And at that moment is when my mind started to change that this was real and she didn't know that she was pregnant. Why am I so in like love with this episode? It's so sweet. I think, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's their accents remind me of home. I don't know what it is, but I love this episode. I'm gonna guess Alabama. I'll go back and check in a minute. They checked me out and they went ahead and took the baby. You know, they was checking him out. I didn't care what was going on with me. I was just wanted to make sure that he was in a perfect shape. It takes nearly an hour for doctors to return with news on the baby's condition. Is the baby okay? Everything came back good. He was a healthy baby. And they said he was full term. Definitely a big relief hit me. Oh, he's so cute. Look at the baby. He was my biggest baby. Six pounds, nine ounces. <laughs> oh, that was great because I had my little grandson. Oh. <laughs> that was great. Inspired by her surprise he's pregnancy, so Natasha names her baby Zavon. Zavon is in the Bible, and Zavon means God is hiding me. And God was hiding him. 
Stop it right now! <gasps> That's such a good one! I love to hear the name stories, and this one is almost as good as naming him after Mr. Kind Eyes, which, by the way, update on the Mr. Kind Eyes video. That's the baby at a rest stop video. Uh, Mr. Kind Eyes apparently has several children, also helped deliver one of his own children, and those children have watched the YouTube video and put them in the comments. They're commenting that Mr. Kind Eyes is their dad. Is that not the, the, the sweetest little update ever? This day, and I'm like, wow, how did I do that? I think I can see possibly October. I had my regular men's store every month. I took my pill every month. I had no reason to believe that I was pregnant. She never missed her time of the month, which I can't explain physiologically, but you'll also never miss your favorite time of the month, these reaction videos, if you subscribe and turn on notifications. <laughs> subscribe for the science and learning, not the humor. Today, Zavon is a healthy two-year-old and the perfect addition to the family. <laughs> loved that one. I don't know why. I just, I, I think I liked the people a lot. I just, that one was so good. Thanks for being here today, y'all. I hope that you learned something. If you're new and you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you want to watch another didn't know I was pregnant video, I will link a playlist right over here. Binge watch all of them while you're at it. There are some excellent, excellent episodes of this TV show. I will see you next Monday.